No shell gas. Where did we want it? Never. Never. What did we want? No shell gas. Where did we want it? Never. Never. What did we want? No shell gas. Where did we want it? Never. What did we want? No shell gas. Darcy, I'm with the friends of UMB Woodlock, and uh, we've been here uh, the last um, three Thursdays. We really want to get across to the public that um, shale gas development in New Brunswick is really a terrible idea because we have very, very hard shale geology here in New Brunswick. They have to fracture at extremely high pressures of water just to leach out uh, the natural gas and it's been tried in Pennsylvania and with horrible results. Uh, a lot of contamination of groundwater, a lot of contamination of surface water, and we have to say no here in New Brunswick. No moratorium, we want a ban, a complete ban on shale gas. Does David Allwork tell New Brunswickers about the report by the New York City Department of Environmental Protection? that identified 33% of the chemicals in fracking fluids were associated with cancer, 41% with endocrine disruption, 34% with reproduction disorders, 58% with immune suppression, and 43% with genetic disruption. No! I just want to ask uh, Allward a question here because from what I heard last year, this, these were his specific words that significant contamination is happening in the United States. And now all of a sudden, because he's in power, there's, it's null and void. If it's not proven in court, there's no such thing. So how can he go from one position to another within a few months? And he already knew that there was significant contamination happening in the States. And it hasn't gone away, it's still happening. And I'd like to know how he can flip-flop so quickly like that. I would just like the government to uh, pay attention to what Dr. Ingrafia, the father of uh, uh, fracking, uh, because he says, he explains why it's impossible to do it safely. I would also like them to listen to Dr. Uh, Barth, who is the economist who shows that the numbers the companies are giving you are wrong and they need to pay attention to those things so that we don't damage our province unnecessarily. Uh. Well, I'll just talk about a personal connection I have. Um, I have a farm in Stanley that's basically mine whenever I want it. It's my parents' farm. It's been in our gen family for five generations. I'll be the sixth. And if this happens close by, I won't be able to have a farm, for one, because you won't be able to truck in water for animals, and two, organic cert certification. Like that's something I'd really like to have. And if the groundwater isn't has laced with chemicals, that's a choice that is taken away from me because the cows are sick, the plants are sick, and yeah. I'm here because I believe in the value and the importance of clean water and healthy soil as a resource here in New Brunswick and in Nova Scotia and in all of Canada. Um, I also believe that uh, after the Minister of Energy last week quoted 10% of the money generated from fracking and well, shale gas that's going to go into the Fredericton, or sorry, the New Brunswick economy is just not going to cut it. Spring water comes up from the ground in New Brunswick and we can drink it on the side of the road. That's, that's amazing and uh, we take that for granted, I think, and that's going to be worth way more in the future than any natural gas deposit ever will be. So, frack off. <laughs>